اهلا بكم في فيديو جديد من فيديوهات القناة English for Arabs النهاردة ان شاء الله هناخد تكملة الوحدة الخامسة Interchange 1 Unit 5 Part 2 الفيديو هتكون من ثلاث مقاطع اول جزء ان شاء الله هيكون الكلمات ومعانيها in English الجزء الثاني هيكون عبارة عن الانترتشينج نفسه كتاب الانترتشينج والشرح هيكون باللغة الانجليزية فقط والجرامر ده الجزء التالت هيكون عبارة عن powerpoint presentation عن الكوانتفايرز اللي هي محددات الكميات let's start 8 statistics percentage always always L silent almost L silent Almost L silent. Said vowel plus L, L silent. لو الحرف متحرك قبل قبل ال L يبقى دائما في معظم الأحيان ال L بتبقى silent. Together. Adults. Adults. Guess. Think. A guess. Agree. Disagree. Nine. Piro. Nine. The words in exercise number nine. Piro. First day presents. First day gifts. I can say presents or presents. I can make the T silent. ممكن نعمل حرف T هنا silent عشان جي قبل حرف ال N. Birthday presents, birthday gifts. An only child. Parents' attention. Parents' care. Ten. Feel lonely. Live alone. Ten. Feel lonely. Live alone. High school. Vote. E pale. A chatting friend. T soft D. A chatting. A chatting friend. Typical. Typical. Identical. Twelve. Housework. Work people do to take care of the home, such as cleaning. Again, twelve. Housework. Work people do to take care of the home, such as cleaning. After school program. Activities for children after school. Household chores. Household chores. Work children do to help their parents at home. Work children do to help their parents at home. Administrator, administrator, administrator. T soft D here, between A and O, between two vowels, T نضعها دي خفيفة. Administrator, worry about, worry about. Yeah sound here, worry about. Y plus vowel, worry, worry about. Don't say worry about. No, wrong. Worry about. Worry about. We're gonna have a link between the letter Y and the letter A. Worry about. Pick up. Pick up. Pick up something. Leave. Left. Left. Unfortunately. Unfortunately. T is of D. Unlucky. Freedom. Liberty. Liberty. T is of D. Household chore. 
Unit 5, Interchange 1, Part 2, Exercise number 8, Snapshot. Typical families. Facts about the United States. In the home here, 41% of homes have three or more televisions. In one home, there are three, four, five televisions. In every room, a television. 63% of families almost always eat dinner together. This is fact in the USA. In your country, in Egypt. Facts about your country. Percent of homes have three or more televisions. About 20%. 20% of homes have three or more televisions. And of families almost always eat dinner together. You have dinner with your mom, your dad your brothers and sisters can say like 50% the working family 55% of mothers with young children work so mother and she has teenager or young children and she works she go to work 78% of high school students have jobs. So in the USA, you finish the school, you have part-time job. You can work in a restaurant every day for two hours, three hours. This is part-time job, not full-time, not one shift, just two hours or three hours. In Egypt, of mothers with young children work, 40% of mothers with young children work. Percent of high school students have jobs. 10. 10% of high school students have jobs. Some students, they don't go to school. They are maybe in industrial high school, commercial high school, agriculture high school. Marriage. 74% of adults between the ages of 18 and 35 marry. In Egypt, 50%, 50% of adults between the ages of 18 years and 35 marry. 27% of adults between the ages of 18 and 34 to 34 live with their parents, they live with their mom and dad. In Egypt, persons of adults between the ages of 18 to 34 live with their mom and dad. So here 50, so maybe here we have like, uh, maybe like 40%, 30% of adults between the ages of 18 and 34 live with their moms and dads. Which facts seem like positive? Positive, good. Positive things. Positive, British, American, positive, O as A. Which seem negative? Positive in the USA. Forty-one percent of homes have three or more televisions. Positive. They are very rich. 63% of families eat dinner together. Positive. Seventy-eight percent of high school students have jobs. Positive. Great. 55% negative. Negative. of mothers with young children work. 
Maybe this is negative. Because the children must have a lot of care. They need a lot of care. Exercise number nine. Conversation. I come from a big family. Look at the picture. What do you see? Young man, young lady. What are they doing? They're drinking tea. They're drinking. They're talking. They're laughing. They're having fun. Let's start to listen. Page 33. Exercise 9. Conversation. I come from a big family. Part A. Listen and practice. How many brothers and sisters do you have, Mei? Actually, I'm an only child. Really? Yeah. Most families in China have only one child nowadays. I didn't know that. What about you, Marcos? I come from a big family. I have three brothers and two sisters. Wow. Is that typical in Peru? Not really. A lot of families are smaller these days, but big families are great because you get lots of birthday presents. Let's start to read. She's from China. How many brothers and sisters does Meili have? She's an only child. She's alone. She doesn't have brothers or sisters. Why? Most families in China have only one child nowadays. What about Marcus? How many brothers and sisters does Marcus have? Marcus comes from a big family. He has three brothers and two sisters. Three brothers two sisters Marcus mom and dad so there are eight family members in Marcus family they are eight this is a big family is that typical in Peru is that usual in Peru to have big families no why because a lot of families are smaller these days. Does Marcus like to be in a big family? Yes. Why? Because big families are great. Because you get lots of birthday presents. You get lots of birthday gifts. If you have a birthday party, your brothers and your sisters, everyone gives you a birthday present. Let's listen to part B. Size 9. Part B. Listen to the rest of the conversation. What does Mei Li like about being an only child? So, do you like being an only child? Of course. I get all my parents' attention. <laughs> yeah, I share my parents' attention with five other people. But sometimes... I want a brother or a sister. Do you ever feel lonely? Sure, but it's okay. I have lots of friends. So, do you like being an only child? Of course. I get all my parents' attention. <laughs> yeah, I share my parents' attention with five other people. But sometimes, I want a brother or a sister. Do you ever feel lonely? Sure, but it's okay. I have lots of friends. Meili likes Meili likes being an only child because she gets all her parents' attention. She gets all her parents' care. Does Meili feel lonely? Yes, she feels lonely. But it's okay because she has a lot of friends. Exercise number 10. Grammar focus. Let's start to listen. Page 
Exercise 10. Grammar Focus. Quantifiers. All families have only one child. Nearly all families have only one child. Most families have only one child. Many families are smaller these days. A lot of families are smaller these days. Some families are smaller these days. Not many couples have more than one child. A few couples have more than one child. Few couples have more than one child. No one gets married before the age of 18. Page, page 34. Exercise 10. Grammar focus. Quantifiers. All families have only one child. Nearly all families have only one child. Most families have only one child. Many families are smaller these days. A lot of families are smaller these days. Some families are smaller these days. Not many couples have more than one child. A few couples have more than one child. Few couples have more than one child. No one gets married before the age of 18. Quantifiers. Quantifiers. All, nearly all, most, many, a lot of, some, not many, a few, few, no one. After quantifiers, after these words, you will have noun, families, couples, plus verb, have, are. No one plus verb, no one gets, no one gets married before the age of 18. Let's see together this wonderful PowerPoint presentation. Quantifiers. What is the meaning of quantifiers? Quantifiers, a word which is used before a noun to show the amount. A word which is used before a noun to show the amount. محددات الكميات. Let's start. All. Nearly all. Nearly all. Yeah, sound. Most. Many. A lot of. A lot of. T soft D and of F V some not many a few few none none or no one none none zero after these words all nearly all must many a lot of some not many a few few up until few you have noun plus verb no one verb singular verb singular verb all 100% nearly all 90 most about 80 many 70 a lot of 60 50% some 40 not many 30 a few, twenty, few, ten, no one, zero. Example. All Egyptians are nice. Nearly all Australians are married. Nearly all Australians are married. Most students are absent. Most students are absent. Many workers are in the factory. A lot of teachers work hard. A lot of teachers work hard. 
Some people travel abroad. Some people travel abroad. Not many doctors work hard. Not many doctors work hard. A few students are naughty. Naughty, T, soft D, G, H, silent. Naughty, bad students. Few students prepare the lessons. None is bad in the class. In my class, no one is bad. All the students are good. So, in these examples, all, nearly all, most, many, a lot of, some, not many, a few, few, plus noun, all Egyptians, nearly all Australians, most students, many workers, a lot of teachers, some people, not many doctors, a few students, few students. Quantifiers, noun, then the verb, are, 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 work, travel, prepare. No one is bad. After no one, verb in singular. No one is, not are. A. Rewrite these sentences using quantifiers, then compare with a partner. 1. In China, 50% of women get married by the age of 22. In this exercise, you have this number 50. You check which quantifier, which word can replace this number. So number one, in China, a lot of women get married by the age of 22. Number two, in Australia, 87% of married couples have children. In Australia, nearly all married couples have children. Nearly all. 3. In the United States, 0% of the people vote before the age of 18. In the United States, no one votes before the age of 18. No one votes. So here, the verb is singular. Singular verb. Votes. You have to put S. 4. 35% of the people in Germany live alone. Some people in Germany live alone. 5. 78% of American high school students have jobs. Most. Most American high school students have jobs. Exercise number 11. This email about your family. Write an email to your email about your family. Email chatting friend, a friend you chat with. Dear Young Jun. Thanks for your email. Now, let me tell you about my family. My parents are coffee farmers. They are farmers who grow coffee. Most families here are small. I have one older sister, but I don't have a brother. My sister's name is blah blah blah. This is gonna be homework. You have to write about an email or a paragraph about your family. You can start I have a big family, I have a small family, there are five members in my family, there are 
three members in my family. You tell me, what are their names? Who are they? What are their jobs? Example, I have a big family. I have two sisters and one brother. Mom and dad. My sister is Shayma. She's 40 years old. She's an engineer. My brother is, so you write the name of your brother. How old is he? What's his job? What's he like? Tall, short, nice, gentle, kind. You can write a good paragraph about that. Exercise number The changing family. Look at the picture. What do you see? You see a family. Father, mother, two sons, their brothers, one daughter, sister, sister, brothers, father, mother, two sons, one sister or one daughter and daughter. She's daughter for the father and the mother and sister for the two brothers. This is family. Let's start to read about this wonderful family. Read the title of the article. The Changing Family. The Changing Family. This is an American family. Let's start to read. American families are changing. One important change is that most married women now work outside the home. What happens when both parents work? Read about the Morals family. Now this is the Morals family and mom and dad, father and mother are working. What about the children, the kids? What will they do? Judy and Steve Morals have three children, Josh, 12, Ben, 9, and Emily, 6. Steve is a computer programmer. This year, Judy is working again as a hospital administrator. The family needs the money, and Judy likes her job. Everything is going well, but there are some problems. Let's answer some questions. How many children do Judy and Steve have? They have three children. Who are they? Josh, Ben, and Emily. How old is Josh? 12 years old. Ben, 9 years old. Emily, 6 years old. So we are Emily, Ben, Josh. What does Steve work? So Mr. Steve, what does he work? What's his job? What's his job? He's a computer engineer. Computer programmer. What about Judy? Hospital administrator. Administrator, T -soft D. Judy doesn't work a doctor or nurse. She's in the management. Does Judy like her job? Yes, Judy likes her job. Do they have problems? Of course, they have a lot of problems. Number one, Mr. Steve. Now, the Judy's working, Steve has to help her more with the housework. He doesn't enjoy it. His wife is working, so he has to help her in the housework. 
Housework such as cleaning, washing the dishes, vacuuming, this is housework. Work you do to keep the house clean. Judy, Judy loved her work, but she feels too tired and busy. She also worries about the children. Judy has to work on several days. So Steve and Judy don't have a lot of free time together. Judy works on Saturday in the USA, Saturday and Sunday, days of weekend. But Judy works in hospital, this is why she has to work on Saturday. The hospital is not closed on Saturday or, or Sunday. The hospital must be open all the week. Oh, every day, every hour, the hospital must be open. Let's ask some question about this paragraph. Does Judy love her work? Yes, Judy loves her work a lot. Does Judy work on Saturday? Yes, Judy works on Saturdays. Do Steve and Judy have a lot of free time together? No, Steve and Judy don't have a lot of free time together because Judy works on Saturdays. Emily. Emily is having a great time in her after school program. After school program, you finish the school and there is a program, some activities after the school, like swimming, maybe there is swimming pool, so you have lessons for swimming, drawing, painting, playing music, lessons for playing the piano, the guitar. When Judy comes to pick her up, she doesn't want to leave. When the mother comes, when the mother comes to take Emily, to take, to pick up Emily, Emily says, Mom, please let me stay. I want to stay in the school. So Emily loves the school. She loves the programs after the school. Unfortunately, Ben's school doesn't have an after school program. Ben doesn't have after school program. Right now, he's spending most afternoons in front of the television, in front of the TV. Ben finished the school and goes home. He doesn't have after school program. When he goes home, he watches television. Let's ask some questions about this paragraph. Does Ben have after school program? No, he doesn't. How does Penn spend his time? He's spending most of his time in front of the television. Josh, how old is Josh? Josh is 12 years old. Ben, nine years old. Josh is enjoying his new freedom after school. He's free, he finished the school, he's free. There is no mom or dad at home. He can do whatever he likes. He's playing his music louder and spending more time on the phone. So he plays the music and spend more time speaking on the phone, talking to his friends. He's also doing a few household chores. He's also tries to help in the house Household chores, washing the dishes, cleaning, making the bed, washing the clothes. Now let's read the question to answer them. Now read the article, then answer these questions. Write the name of the family members. Now take your time. One minute, try to answer.
You read the question, search in the answer in the passage. Quickly, please. One, what children are benefiting from Judy working? Emily and Josh. Emily and Josh are benefiting from Judy working. Benefiting, you have some benefits, advantages. يستفيدوا من بيستفيدوا من جودي شي بقى شغالة ومش في البيت Of course Emily she has after school program and Josh and Josh is free Question number two Which child is not benefiting from Judy working? Ben Three Which family member is enjoying more freedom? Josh Which family members are doing more housework? They work in the house Steve and Josh Sorry. Steve and Josh Steve and Josh are doing more housework 5. Which family member feel too busy? Who's too busy? Judy the mother, she's too busy. She has to work in hospital. She has to work in. She has to work in the house. She's too tired and busy. Thanks God. This is the end of Unit Five. I wish you all good luck. Now time for homework. Number one, you will answer the questions in the workbook. Number two. Watch the video of Cambridge. Just write on Google Interchange 1 Unit 5 Video. Thanks God. Alhamdulillah. Wish you good luck. Unit 5 Workbook. This is for the workbook. 3 Painter. Decorator, decorator, T sub D, a company director, mathematics, math, seven, rent, rented, rented, apartment, flat, shared apartment, roommate, eight, not many, a few, a couple of, few none none zero percent asian countries asia not asia 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 asian countries countries in asia stay state state stay state state abroad in foreign countries, foreign, G silent, in foreign countries. 10. Relatives, 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 fairly, break up, end, remarry, marry again, marry again, yeah, sound, marry again, rearrange, arrange again, rearrange, arrange again, all. Nearly all, most, many, a lot of, a lot of, T soft D, a lot of, F, V, much, some. This is the end of Unit 5. 
बुक एंड वर्क बुक थैंक्स फॉर वॉचिंग डोंट फ्रू गेट लाइक द वीडियो एंड डोंट फ्रू गेट सब्सक्राइब शुक्र लिलमुशाहद من فضلك اشترك في القناة لتصلك آخر إصداراتنا